This is a seat off my uh, Klansman on the back, off the back of it. It's been sitting out in full sun for three to five years. This is the underside. Um, it wasn't even done with uh, Aquacoat underneath. You can see where the Aquacoat comes around to. Here, you'll see the holes weren't sealed. So moisture's gone in through there. Notice how it's run along the grain and up the side and discoloured it. Same with it. You'll find they're all the same. Uh, even down the other end. So that's moisture coming in through a hole. You've got to try and seal those. Now this is the top. You'll notice I've got to it before it's completely broken down. This here, where, where I'm scraping, is where the aqua coats actually come away from the epoxy. What happens over the years, moisture's got underneath it and it's caused it to pull away. So I'm going to sand all that back and I believe I've got to it before the um, epoxy has died. It's discoloured a bit, but I'm just going to touch it up. Here on the ends, you'll see where either ropes have been rubbing over there and, and it hasn't been as thick as it should, the layer of epoxy. And the moisture's gone through the aqua coat, then it's gone through the epoxy. I'm just going to rub that area back, coat it with three or four coats of boat coat, and bring it back to life. Um, I'd say a lot of it is where the, the boat coat's been too thin once it's been sanded up, the aqua coat's been put over it, and the moisture will go through the aqua coat, and because there's not a thick enough layer of epoxy there, it'll break down. So we're going to bring this old girl back to life. First thing to do is sand it. I'm going to stay it out with 120 grit and uh, sand all the bits that are lifted off, and then I'm going to go to town and tart her up, epoxy it, and then make it look like new.